Hi, my name is Simon Jacke and I'm working as a head of corporate digital innovation for the Freudenberg Group in Germany. Let me give you first a little background about Freudenberg. Freudenberg is a global technology group that strengthens customers and society through forward-looking innovations. Together with partners, customers and research institutions, the Freudenberg Group develops technologies, products and services for about 40 markets and thousands of applications. In 2021, the Freudenberg Group employed some 50,000 people in around 60 countries worldwide and generated sales of more than 10 billion euros. The company has been family owned down to the present and the values of founder Karl Johann Freudenberg have kept the company grounded. We have been true to them since 1849. To ensure the success of our diversified group, the organizational and management structure has to be based on a broad entrepreneurial freedom of action and on placing the appropriate trust in all our staff. Individualism with a high degree of delegated responsibilities, coupled with a minimum of necessary formalized rules, characterizes the group's special corporate style. These principles and values also define our path for digital process automation. For us, as a manufacturing company, we have known automation of production and logistics processes for decades and more. And since our guiding principles and what is commonly known as lean thinking are a good match, lean manufacturing is and has been very popular at Freudenberg. What is the relevance of all this, you could ask, to digital processes? I think quite a lot. I think the key to success, especially in times of digital transformation, lies in the philosophy and practices of Lean. One core principle of Lean is Jidoka, which is about the relationship of man and machine. It means something like machines alone are dumb. Only when humans build in the possibilities of being able to contribute themselves, they can together create value. The machine or process must always guarantee the human the ability to intervene immediately when the assumed conditions no longer exist. This idea, sometimes called automation with a human touch, must be our vision when it comes to digital machines and processes. The consequences of these ideas are significant. It's about empowering everyone involved in a digitized business process to rapidly or immediately address, identify and correct mistakes that are core in a process. Today, things often look different. Just ask a knowledge worker or a specialist in purchasing, accounting or sales to what extent they see themselves today in a position to solve a problem in a process. They often know about inefficiencies, about gaps in the process, but are at the mercy of the machine. They usually do not own the technical implementation of their process. So they cannot intervene immediately when the assumed conditions no longer exist. According to Jidoka, what the employee needs is not just a UI, to interact with a digitized business process, but rather a way to customize the process quickly and easily. But where in standardized end-to-end -end processes, the gold standard of the last decade, do we want to give that up and allow each individual to make adjustments to processes or establish their own? And of course, in the end, we want a consistent and integrated data architecture across the whole enterprise. The good news is you can balance the two, agility and standardization. And SAP process automation is a key component for us to do that. How does that look like in practice? Let me give you an example. My colleague David is responsible for ordering iPhones for the employees. 
and he has been very unhappy with the process so far. Let me give you some background. Conceptually, when an employee gets an iPhone, two things happen. First, an investment budget is requested and approved to provide the money for the iPhone. And second, then a procurement process is initiated and run through to purchase the device with this budget. Until now, the lead time of the process was often several weeks due to many manual steps and handoffs. This, of course, is a situation David was not proud of. But then digital process automation came to the rescue. Since OData APIs existed for all the necessary steps, we were able to create so-called actions in SAP process automation for them. This was a step that was done by a Procode developer, including all the plumbing between S4HANA, BTP, side-by-side -side CAP applications, and so on. But this action was now available within process automation as an easy-to-use component that David could use to develop a new iPhone ordering process on his own. So he built a simple form that only asked three things. Who are you? What is your cost center? And what iPhone model do you want? And once this form is submitted, the proper APIs are called via the action to create the necessary objects in S4HANA and run all the approvals necessary there. In S4, for example, a quite usual purchase requisition is created, no different than the one that you would create using the standard UIs. But via the simple iPhone ordering form, it was much easier and faster for the average user. So the orders are happy, David is happy, the lead time of the process has been massively reduced. This example shows what I meant by balancing agility and standardization. Actions in SAP process automation are not only a great way to combine the work of pro-code and no-code developers, they are also the extension point in the sense of Jidoka to customize a process quickly and easily. And this by building on existing standardizations as in our example, by automatically creating standard objects in SAP backend solutions like S4HANA. The ease at which scenarios like these can be implemented is what made us choose SAP process automation. We think that SAP has a unique selling point in this respect. Of course, SAP still has a way to go, especially when it comes to forms and on the integration side as well, Important features need to be delivered this year. But we have great confidence in SAP that we share the same vision of more empowerment, more agility, more modularity, and more lean thinking in digital process automation.